What's up and welcome back, it's your tech edit here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Windows 11 on VirtualBox the right way. I'll guide you step by step in detail how to properly install Windows 11 to avoid common errors and problems when installing them on a virtual machine such as the black screen or even the incompatibility issues. But before we start, our sponsor for this video is cdkoffice.com where you could buy affordably cheap license keys such as the Microsoft Office 2016 that recently dropped its price down to $34. Not only could you buy Microsoft Office keys but also you can get way cheaper legit Windows license keys. Simply look for whichever license is suitable for your Windows installation. After choosing which Windows license you'll be needing, simply click on the Buy Now button. Then enter DUDE20 to save up 20% on your purchase. You'll be taken to the payment gateways afterwards and once done paying, you'll immediately receive the key and be able to activate it on your Windows. Going back, I won't be giving you directly the link for this leaked ISO or early release ISO of Windows 11 as I don't want Microsoft to be mad at me for doing so or copyright issues. So if you happen to grab one of these Windows 11 ISO files or if you're watching this video by the time Windows 11 is already officially released, hopefully I can share with you the right way to install Windows 11 on a VirtualBox machine. Alright, assuming you already have the Windows 11 ISO file, let's now start and go to our desktop. Now that we are on our desktop, we can now go ahead and locate first the ISO file of Windows 11 so I have my ISO file located on my local disk C which is the Windows 11 installer. We're gonna go ahead and minimize this window first and go ahead and open up our virtual box. In our virtual box we need to make sure that we are using the latest version of virtual box so I'm using the latest version 6.1 as of the making of this video. We're gonna go ahead and close this one once we are sure that we are using the latest version and then we can go ahead and click on the new button right here and then name your virtual machine and then on the version as of this version there's no windows 11 option right here so go ahead and select the windows 10 64-bit edition go ahead and click on the next button and then set the recommended memory size to 4000 or 4 gigabytes of memory and then click on the next button and then just simply create and then set this one to the uh, VirtualBox disk image select the dynamically allocated feature and then click on the next button Set this one to 50 gigabytes of storage and then simply click the create button. Okay, now go ahead and go to the settings. Before we start, we need to attach the ISO file of Windows 11. So go ahead and go to the storage. Under this optical drive, click the button right here and click on the choose a disk file. And then go to the local disk C. In my case, I have the Windows 11 installer right here click on the open and then it will be attached on your virtual machine however we cannot start yet our machine as we need to still go to the system and make sure under the processor we need to allocate this machine to have at least two cpus or processor otherwise you'll be shown with the incompatible error upon installation once done hit the ok button and then start the virtual machine Once you're shown with this, press any key to boot, simply click any on your keyboard. However, if Windows 11, let's say, for example, still wouldn't load up, simply go to the um, devices and under the optical drives, make sure that Windows 11 ISO is loaded upon boot up. Alright, now that the Windows setup is already loaded up, simply click on the next button. Click on the install now button and just simply wait for the setup to start. And then if you already have a product key, simply enter your product key right here. Otherwise, simply click on the I don't have a product key. Next, we are already on the most crucial step to avoid the black screen problem on Windows 11 which is to avoid the end editions or the end versions on this particular installation. So avoid installing any of this Windows 11 Home end edition or Windows 11 Education end version, Windows 11 Pro end edition, Windows 11 Pro Education end, and also the Windows 11 Pro end for workstations. Otherwise, you won't be able to see or you'll be shown with a black screen upon booting up on a virtual machine as these Windows 11 end editions are only loaded with the basic drivers and services hence you might be encountering some issues later on upon booting up your operating system on VirtualBox. So let's say we're going to install Windows 11 Pro so select the Windows 11 Pro rather than the N edition. 
hit the next button accept the license agreement so since we're going to install a fresh windows 11 installation we're going to select this custom install then click on the new button and hit the apply button hit the ok button and you could either format this drive or basically go to the next step it will now begin installing your windows 11 or operating system and you won't be encountering any system requirement issues especially if you follow the steps a while ago just simply wait for this to finish and you'll be able to get a working windows 11 on your virtual box Hopefully you're now able to get Windows 11 up and running on VirtualBox. Feel free to leave your comments and feedbacks on the comment section down below. Also, I would appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button to get more helpful tech stuff in the future. It's your tech dude here. See you in my next videos.